Hi everyone. Hi. Thanks for joining us live tonight. Um, thanks to everyone who's watching the recording. My name is Fran Mifsud, I'm an independent consultant. And my name is Taylor Berger and I'm an independent consultant as well. With Arbor. Um, we, what are we gonna do? Well, tonight we're going to do a little cooking presentation with um, our protein shakes. Um, and yes, we're very excited because we can use the new holiday spice. So this has just come out, used some receipts today, didn't you? I did. In the post. Mine's still coming, hopefully mine comes tomorrow, but this is our Christmas range. So we decided to use this holiday spice flavour today. Yes? Yes. Okay. So we're going to be cooking in the kitchen. Thanks. Thanks for being here. Um, okay, we're going to use... So, so should we give a little rundown about the protein powder? Yes, let's stuff? do that. Let's yes. do that. Um, so they're made from pea, brown rice and cranberry. Yep. Um, people sometimes worry about the amount of sugar in their protein. Um, but we don't want to bag any other companies, but we love this one. Um, if you prefer others, that's fine. That's great. Um, but we love that this has all natural, it's all natural, GMO free, and it does have cane sugar, but it's not processed. Um, so you know exactly how your body is going to react to it. And at the end of the day, sugar is sugar, but sugar is going to react in the same way in your body. And I'd personally rather have um, something that's not chemically enhanced um, and that's natural and know that it's going to agree with my body and my gut health. Absolutely. And the other good thing about having the, the plant-based protein um, is that it's really good for digestion, really good on the gut because we don't want, I know there's a lot of proteins out there with the whey and that's also, well, for me personally, like I'm, I'm lactose intolerant. Are you, I just try it, to avoid it. Does yeah. it upset you? Yeah. yeah. And I used to get lots of um, hormonal acne under my chin. This is just my own personal um, testimonial, by the mm -hmm. way, like I'm not vouching for anyone else, but I love that we don't have the whey in these products, um, so they're not dairy, and um, it can help be part of a complete health, healthy lifestyle, which we both love to incorporate it into our daily life. Like, can you, do you start your day off with a protein shake? Yeah, I do. And me too. And if I don't, like this morning, I decided to do something different. I did the protein pancakes. I basically did it, um, we're all about food, we're about cooking. <laughs> but yes. I did the cup of, um, I did a cup of vanilla protein, no, I didn't do it. Yeah, I did a, a cup of milk, a cup of gluten-free flour, and I did a couple of tablespoons of the protein. I, I forgot the egg. But um, but that was my my pancake. I just added some fruit and a little bit of syrup, and yeah, yeah that was it. Well, I normally just do my pancakes with two scoops of the chocolate protein powder, a banana, and two eggs. Oh, I haven't it's done amazing. the banana. Yeah, I might do that. Yeah. But see how there's so many different ways. So, so tonight... it is so versatile. So, yes. Yeah. So tonight we wanted to show you. We've got two recipes. Yeah, so I'm gonna make a uh, protein bread. I've done it with um, pumpkin before, but tonight we're gonna to do it with sweet potato. Um, we're gonna use the Thermomix and we're going to do everything basically from scratch. So but just so you know also, you don't have to use the Thermomix. Yes. Like if you have a Nutribullet or yeah, a so blender. To make the, we're gonna use um, gluten-free oats as the flour. So we've got the oats and we'll just blend them up to make a flour. So you could use it, definitely use a Nutribullet. And the other thing I was gonna say is you could actually just stir it in a bowl if you actually just have the flour. But we love, we're a bit you obsessed. Just chuck everything in yeah, and then it's, it's easy. super easy. So come across and watch what we're gonna do. I'm gonna bring the camera over, Taylor. Okay, cool. Uh, hey guys. Um, I'll just switch the camera around. Can I do that? Oh. All right, maybe not. So I'll just have to go like this. Sorry, so what are we doing? Okay, so I've got the oats and tip them in and it's gonna be a little bit loud, but we're gonna blend them up. Okay, so we're gonna That should be enough. That's probably really loud. Yeah, it's a little bit loud, but just bear with us. Just see what's happened here. Okay, so I've got That's to make our flour, flour with gluten-free oats. How amazing is that? We love that. So then I've just got a teaspoon of baking powder, cinnamon, nutmeg, and some fresh ginger. You can use ground ginger. Tip that in. And then 
but in sweet potato so I've steamed that in the microwave first but like I said with pumpkin is also amazing and we'll put the recipe in the comments at the end so you yes. don't have to remember it all now <laughs> um, a little bit of vanilla in there. Yum. Um, then I've got about half a cup of tahini um, I've also used almond butter you can use peanut butter um, any butter would be fine. Yum. I love tahini. Delicious. Do you know tahini is basically, do you know what it is? Sesame seeds. Yep. Just sesame seeds ground up. Yum. And then some apple cider vinegar. How much did you use about that? About a tablespoon. Yep. And two fresh eggs from the chickens in the backyard. Yeah, they're from our backyard chickens. <laughs> they are very awesome.